Um. This is Chakra Attack. We attack you and we are ready to attack all the negative things in your life like a car battery, leave you with only the positive. We remove the negative so you are fully charged and ready to drive down the great freeway of life. Ba 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 ba, I'm coming through. Um. I have some spiritual ass jumper cables and you are about to get some mind boggling currents through your body. Man, I just love that metaphor. We are here to deal with your Los Santos County integrated health needs, and I'm your host, Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Here are my producer, Nurse Cheryl Fox. Hi, everybody. Let's jibber and more jabber as your lips vibrate together. Mm. Damn, you feel that vibration? That's the cleansing vibration gene that shakes us all free like a wet dog. I woke up the other moment, hum, all over the inside of my shorts. Hum. Be cleansed, Cheryl. May your barren womb be artificially inseminated with acorns and moss and all the good organic things that nature provides us to the squirrels to hide in there for the winter. There are no squirrels in my vagina. There are. They, yes, they are. They sure, they, sure they are. I ate acorns and moss and ferns until I was 10 years old. Foraging! When my dad abandoned me, I knew it was time to cleanse. I mix hot sauce and lemon juice until I lost weight like a refugee. That's a cleanse. That's a cleanse. It cleans your bowels and your soul. Your soul come out your bowels, which in turn come out your ass, Cheryl. Oh, stop making things up. I'm not barren. Who even uses the term barren? What are you, King James Bible? I am Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris, Bible of duality. That's where I am, girl. Radio refugees, speak to me about your issues on the mind, body, and spirit, and your 401k plan. Who's next? I said, who's next? Wake up, girl. Come on now. Are you with me or not? You're not with me right now. Your mind is someplace else. Your mind is in the gutter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend your duality, Dr. Ray. <laughs> Line five. Now, 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 girl, you slow it up now. Slow up a second, right? What'd you say to me? What'd you say to me? I said line five. Was you disrespecting my duality? Was you? Because listen, I'm a spiritual being. If you want to push me, if anybody wants to push me, you'll find out there's a whole lot more to Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris than a doctorate from a respected university and a string of successful books and a top-rated health show. If you want to go there, woman, you want a piece of me? If you want to party, huh? Because I know things. I know them. Dumb things. I know dumb things and dumb things know me and therefore dumb things don't know that I know those things. So I know dumb things because dumb things is right in front of my face. I tell the audience. Calm down, Ray. You're getting all angry again. I wasn't disrespecting your duality. It's the smoothie you made me. I'm kind of bugging out. That's because it's Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris bug out smoothie with spirulina, which is nature's PCP. I'm sorry, Cheryl. You know I love you. But sometimes you need to be yelled at. Mmm, mmm, Cheryl, right now, right now, mmm, mmm, right now, get that, get, get it, get it, mmm, I'ma catch, don't, 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 don't do it on the air, don't do it, now look, I'ma hum, I'ma catch it in my hand, okay. and I'ma throw this um in your mouth, open okay. your mouth, okay, open your mouth okay. now, okay, oh. oh, no, no, no um, you open your mouth, I'ma throw you my um, and my um gonna go in your mouth, Open your mouth wide. Okay. All right. Mm. Oh. You catch it. You gotta catch it. You ain't catching okay. it. Okay. Catch it now. <gasps> you caught it. That's what I want you to do. I still love you. Can I let it go? Yeah. I'm, okay. I got you. All right. Um. I love you. I still love you, friend. Even though you are a terrible, gothy hippie. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. She's um so much. She's really opened up. That's what happens. Sometimes somebody got to um and catch it and throw it in someone else's mouth so they can hum. Sometimes I cry all weekend. I love it. I just have so much to cry about. There, there, Cheryl. Be strong, girl. See, I need your strength right now. I don't need you on the air boohooing to all those listeners out there. You know what happens? They hear that boohooing and know what happens? It's contagious. It's a virus. Then everybody stop boo-hooing and boo-hooing and boo-hooing, right? We are useless. Who we need? We need the listeners. No, the public. The damn public. This is public radio, right? If I set you up, you got you got to hit the ball. If I underhand it to you, you got to hit the ball, Cheryl. You didn't hit the ball. Now, I'm going to underhand it to you again now. Now, who's out there, Cheryl? The public. The public out there. 
We're not public radio. We don't do pledge drives. We play commercials, right? It's, you're crazy. Cheryl, don't ever correct me on the air. <sighs> don't you ever correct my knowledge of what public radio is. I'm on public radio every day, cleansing people, cleansing their soul, taking them on journeys. And I'm not going to let you tell me this flight is full. I'm not going to do it, Cheryl. I'm not going to let you offer me $300 to get on the next available flight. I'm not going to do it, Cheryl. You know why? Because I want to fly today. It ain't going to happen, Cheryl. Not in front of my public and not in front of my listeners and not in front of those people out there who I'm cleansing through their ass. It's not going to happen. You really, you are a bully, Ray. Look, girl, let's th- th- be strong, okay? I'm sorry I went there, but sometimes I got to go there to get there. You understand what I'm saying? I got to go out there. Here's, my, here's how it works, Cheryl. Let me explain to you how it works in front of everybody, okay. in front of all my listeners. Okay. I got to go through these airwaves, uh-huh. out to the people, touch the people. Through their ears, uh-huh. into their ears, into their brain, yes. down their down their system, the nervous system, into their chest, to help their heart beat, down to their bowels, right? To stir things up in their bowels. You understand? That's a cleansing. That's a damn cleansing. They sit on that toilet bowl, side saddle, and put one elbow on that flusher. You understand? Because everything's coming out. You know what? I'm getting Lionel back. Lionel was a damn good producer. Who's on the line? Please tell me it's Lionel. Lionel, you calling for your job back? Lionel! Ray, I love the vibe, but it's mostly bullshit. What the hell? We are raising awareness around here. Awareness, you dumbass fool. That's all it takes, and pretty soon, shit has changed. Because people don't realize they're being aware because you're getting awareness, and you don't know you got awareness until you get the damn awareness. Don't you tell me what I'm doing here. And we have done it all by holding a protest sign and wearing tie-dyes and smoking cheaper. That's not actually doing anything, is it? What are you talking about? The first three letters in Raising Awareness are R-A-Y. Raising Awareness. Bumper stickers create change. People see that shit and think while they're driving. The text on that bumper sticker is speaking to me right now. At a red light, driving 55 down to 35, right? I'm going to visualize world peace. I'm going to go home and hmm. I don't care if my woman leaves me. I don't give a damn right now. So what? I'm aware of global warming and pollution, but I don't give a crap. The news has made me an uncaring moron. I'll tell you what I'm tired of. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm tired of all the so-called vegetarians and vegans in this state. I only eat raw meat. If you come back to my show and call me a fraud, I'll eat you raw. You understand? I'll cut you open. I'll gut you open. I'll eat your thigh. I'll eat your calf. I'll eat your stomach muscles, them baby back ribs. I'll eat your neck bone. I only eat raw. You understand? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You're going down. You're going down my goddamn throat. I'm going to swallow you like a goddamn cartoon character. You want to go there? You like that? You like that, Cheryl? Sure. You like that? Ray, you're just so holistic. Holistic up in this motherfucker. I don't cook shit. Cooking deprives you of all the nutrients that you need. I don't even cook my crystal. I ate my crystal the way the ancestors did, by pouring the chemicals straight down my damn throat and sitting in the steam room. And trust me, I get higher than any of you fools. You ain't never been high as me. Do you know our ancestors practiced the ancient type of yoga? You can see it in the cave paintings. See? Right there, Cheryl. Look right there. What are they doing in that cave painting? I don't even want to look at That's the ugliest painting I've ever seen. You obviously, it's like drawn with crayons. It looks like a zebra and a man are like humping each other. It's not yoga and it's not ancient. It is. You drew that. Okay. I sure did. In an ancient style. I channeled my ancestors. You know what I did? In my head, it's a TV. An old school TV. The kind you turn with your hand. Not the kind that needs remote control. In my head, it's an old TV, right? Sitting on legs. This ain't no flat screen. This TV big as a damn refrigerator. And it has a knob on it. And it's channels. And my brain is turning them damn channeled. I channeled my ancestors on that old ass TV. You understand? I channeled them. They doing stuff in the cave paintings because the person who was painting the cave painting was high. You understand? Yeah. He's high as a kite. And then he, he, he's high and he's painting in that damn cave. Who the hell sits in the damn cave and paint? That's the art right there. I talk about that in my book. 
about turning your man cave into a BC place. The whole paleo movement, holistic paleo, body and dwelling. Take a hit from nature, man. You can eat raw grass or hay like a farm animal, or you can be at the top of the food chain and chase down foods yourself as I do. You damn right I do. Right? I chase the food down, I catch the damn food. Right? I gut the damn food and I eat the damn food. I'm a human cheater. I'll chase you down. You ain't gonna get away from me. You understand, Cheryl? You understand? Right? Right? So 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 eating raw not only means chewing on a head of cabbage. But also chasing a gazelle like a lion and eating it raw. Or taking some fool who's been giving your woman the eye and drinking the blood right out of his neck. That connects you to nature. It's great squeezing the life out of an animal as you bite his throat, blood dripping down your face. And even better, doing it to some punk who thinks he knows more about meditation than you do. Because you don't know more than me. Trust me. You come walking in the door of your house and your woman sees you all covered in animal entrails or even swallowing the neighbor's liver, she's going to think twice about hassling you. Twice! What is that smell? It's, ugh, it's horrible. That's my new composting TV, Cheryl. As part of the Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris fully organic living system, I have turned my old tube TV into a compost bin. Why am I going to watch some old damn football games when I can watch worms eat my feces from a month ago? Uh, the lowest creature in nature becomes your greatest ally in this fight against waste. You got to compost. There be analysts up in that shit. I compost condoms. I compost people. I compost every damn thing I can. And my flowers grow. My flowers grow from that compost. My garden is rich. My garden is rich. My heart is full. Cheryl, you okay? You look hungover. You all right? I'm just mesmerized by these fish. What are they doing? They're swimming in the trash can. That's my new koi pond. Recycle koi. You can learn a lot about relaxing and spirituality from a Japanese, Cheryl. They are some deep people. Not just hibachi, getting them grilled shrimp and that rice stirred with the vegetables and stuff. And the guy puts the onions on top of the, and makes the onions into a volcano. Doing tricks and stuff with your damn food right in front of you. Like a damn food circus. You got to consume the culture, Cheryl. Consume it. Literally, spiritually, uh, consume the culture, Cheryl. That's what makes us spiritual. By consuming bits of other people's culture and then holding it over the heads of others less spiritual than you. You understand? I just don't see how watching goldfish in a trash can is spiritual. It's like we're just watching living things, just these creatures swimming around in circles until they die. Don't you be back talking my koi pond, woman. You got me all twisted up now. My mind is going other places right now. Hold on now. You get me upset now. Now I gotta. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Who's on the phone? Line six. I mean, this one is really pissed off. Totally yelling. Uh, Ray, it's rude and disgusting what you say about fat people. I'm a BBF. BBF? What the hell's a BBF, Cheryl? It's a big, beautiful female. What did I say, woman? Uh, uh, about how we're calorie hoarders? About how there are starving people and we're the problem? You called us sweaty messes that take up too much room. Sure, I said that? Yes, you did. You called for mandatory gastro bans for all large Americans, like anyone who's a little bit bigger than you at all. And you had a mandatory vegan diet. Our society focuses too much on being skinny. It's a conspiracy by the media. I'm happy with my size. Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, and I think everybody should be accepted for who they are. Absolute nonsense! Get off my damn show! You're screwing up my shaka! If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's people screaming about how happy they are. I ain't about being happy, people. That ain't the point of nothing. Happiness can suck my fatty. It's about duality. Happiness and sadness. Life and death. Kindness and unkindness. That's why I called you fat. Because I love you. You understand? I called you fat because I love you. And that's why I lost my chakra on Cheryl. Because she's my sister. That's why I fired Lionel, a perfectly good producer, because he was my brother, and that is why I am too. I'm awake, I'm asleep. I'm grown, I'm a child. I'm old man, and I'm afraid of death. I'm a sleeping baby. I hate it when people say they slept like a baby. Babies sleep like shit. Need a titty to get them through the night. 
Sir, I'm thinking about yours right now. I don't think you'd like mine. They're like really, really hairy. You gotta pluck, girl. You got to pluck. Many a first day has been ruined when the first base is covered by foliage. Touch my special place right now. Ray, we've talked about this. I'm not into you. I'm bi, but this is so inappropriate for the workplace. What? My special place is inappropriate? My heart? I'll tell you what. Touch my heart. Place your hand on my central solar plexus. Huh? Let me breathe deep. <sighs> Damn, girl, what is that sound? What are you chewing? Nicotine gum. Well, actually, I can't afford nicotine gum, so I just emptied a bunch of butts out into regular gum and rolled it up, and that's what I'm chewing. You an addict, girl. You is an addict. You gotta go cold tofu turkey. Next caller! Hi, Dr. Ray. Hi, Nurse Cheryl. I love this show. You've got me through some real spiritual crises in the past. I called in once before, and you told me to stop acting like a little kid and grow up. And did you, friend? I sure did. I left my mom's house that day and went out to act like an adult. I committed adultery, and I cheated on my tax returns, which are the fastest ways to feel grown up. Oh, that is such a touching story. We really do make a difference. That is true. There are many ways to get in tune with nature, and fraud and messing around in your old lady are but two of them. Like a horny chameleon of love. Damn you fine, girl. Don't you think we should really be spiritual together? Making a beast with two backs? Look, I drew a cave picture over here on the wall. That, that's just two stick figures and a bunch of lines. Ray, if you're channeling your ancestors and that's really who's drawing this, they're terrible artists. Those lines? <laughs> you don't get it, girl. Those lines are zebra print sheets. Only made out of silk on a round bed. Because I only do it in the round. That's us becoming spiritually connected. Nakedness, souls seeping all over the place. Full, sweaty, shocker attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. I like to remind people of my seminars on the first weekend of every month. Tell them more about it, Cheryl. Join Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris the first weekend of every month for a spiritual retreat at the Los Santos Civic Center. There's going to be free parking, a vegan buffet, and all-night oming. That's right. 1 a.m., we um. 3 a.m., we um. 5 a.m., we um. And we still oming. When you spend two days locked in a 120-degree convention center with a bunch of other sweaty people, you're going to have to make a lot of progress. Look inside yourself. Step outside yourself, right? Then cut a hole in yourself. Then look inside yourself with yourself. Look inside of the person you stepped out of. Break down the rules of society and watch what happens. A bunch of sleep-deprived maniacs forming tribes, raiding other parties, taking hostages, fashioning weapons out of anything you can find. You'll carve a damn knife out of a piece of candy. Are you a fool? Are you a damn fool? Let's take a call. Hi, Jake. You're on Chakra Attack. I want to talk about people with birds. Why do people have parrots? Animals shouldn't talk. And ones that do should be shot. Oh, I don't know. I love it when dolphins talk. You stay away from them dolphins, girl. I warned you before. They have some very sophisticated zen shit going on. Swimming in the ocean, performing tricks for rednecks, jumping through hoops, falling in love with lonely zookeepers. We can learn a lot from fish. I think they're mammals. Same thing. Don't you correct me on the air in front of my people. Next call, are you on the line? Hi, I'm calling from the San Andreas State Penitentiary. Dad? Is that you, Dad? Daddy! Oh, my God. Daddy! Oh, my God. Every single time a guy calls an integrated health show from a correctional facility, you think it's your dad. He's not your long-lost father. Actually, I am. Hello, son. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew this day would come. See, Cheryl? With your hairy nipples and bad energy and undernourished chakra, I've been telling you for years one day I would be reunited with my father. <laughs> Put on some heart woman music right now. Put some heart woman on that a father and a son can spiritually connect on. Daddy, I've been crocheting you an Afghan quilt and scrapbooking and keeping a photo album for us to share together of all our future memories. Oh my God, Dad, you don't understand. I am so happy right now. How'd you find me? Well, I was walking by another inmate cell and he was listening to this fruity idiot on the radio. And I went in and said, turn that tofu nonsense off now or I'm going to shank you. And then you said your name was Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. And I said, it can't be. 
My name is Terrence D'Angelo Harris, and I left you and your mother many years ago. I couldn't believe it was my son on the radio. This is so touching. We should send him all of your books and one of those stand-up cardboard cutouts of you oming. Dad, we gotta do some touching shit together. Heartfelt spiritual moments like on a greeting card commercial. Are you gonna take me fishing? <laughs> I love fishing. Ha! I just called to say you're an embarrassment, boy. What? As soon as everyone here in prison found out that I was your father, now the whole place makes fun of me. There's a reason I left you all these years ago. You're a wuss, boy. A bullying, nasty, creepy, liberal wuss. I'm glad I'm gonna die in here and won't have to endure ever meeting you in person. Goodbye! Uh-oh. Oh my God. Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is about to cry live on the air. <laughs> Oh, don't cry, don't cry. I'm falling apart, Cheryl. I'm falling apart. Life is a journey and the wheels have just flown off this spiritual hoopty. I am clairvoyant as hell. You know this, but I did not see that coming. It's a lot of things, Cheryl, I see coming, but that one I did not see coming. I don't know if any amount of meditating in flowing robes by a koi pond is going to save me now. Ah! Contain yourself, don't cry. You're not gonna cry. I'm falling apart, Cheryl, over here. I'm falling apart. That man took my heart, Cheryl. He took my heart, made it into a heart snowball, and threw it in my face. This this has been Chakra Attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. <laughs> Cheryl, hold me! Oh.